let's grow your small account episode two. By the way, I have just thought about this idea of helping you grow a small account, calling out trades that I'm hoping they will mature to profit and uh, helping you to have that patience, helping you to be able to understand that the problem is not the capital that you have. The problem is the wrong trades that you have been, you have been entering. So in these episodes, I, I call it, I don't know what I call it, I will call it, but it is just called Let's Grow Your Small Account. And today is episode two. So I did episode one. If you have not watched episode one, it is very, 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 very interesting. And it's full of information. I have told you what to do once your USD break half. So make sure after this video, you go and catch episode two. Again, comment down below. Let me know if you have already watched episode two and what do you think about episode one about Euro USD and what you think about it. So here we are doing a GBP USD and this is, you know, we if you're planning to grow a small account, number one, you have to find the trades that you are looking and hoping the market will, will uh, give an entry. So we are hoping that GBP USD will be giving us a sell because again, I told you guys, you need to know, you know, have you ever, uh, have you ever noticed anyone with a small account, either you blow or you're in massive drawdown because of the market that you thought is a retracement and it does a reversal on you, or you enter a market too early and maybe it is doing a retracement. So majority of people blow account because of retracement and then the market goes the same direction they had predicted. So I want you to, to always note that to prevent you from... Uh, entering a market that is a retracement when it is a reversal or when it is a reversal and you're thinking it is a retracement, there is a strategy that I teach and it's called BWA strategy. This BWA strategy is for the paid students, but I have an offer, I have an event, it will be recorded, it will stream live and also it is a physical event of one day. I'm calling it Hidden Treasures One Day Masterclass. If you want to learn BWA strategy to know to finally understand the difference between reversal and, and, and retracement, to finally know how to trade news, to finally know how to grow small account, risk management, OPT strategy, BW strategy, all that I'm packaging it at $100 and it's a one day event, it will be recorded. So you can still pay and I will send you the link of the recorded event. Anyway, let's get into the video. GBPUSD is a sale for me because of this breaking. There's no way the market can break out. The market does not act like that. So you can imagine the people who entered immediately after this breaking, what did they not know? Immediately they entered last week, um, the market has went above, as in they have gone on a drawdown of 169 pips. So these are people who enter immediately after a break of structure. So how do you avoid entering immediately? That is what I will teach in that masterclass. In today's lesson, I want to show you how to grow a small account with any trades that you find in the market. So in this case, we have a, dub, a, a, a ranging channel that has, broke, has broken. And for me, I believe this is a retracement. So if I come to the daily time frame, you can see how the market is. So buyers... Um, not as powerful because the market, the buyers are keeping, the buyers are really, what can we say? They are struggling to go up. So you can see the market is really struggling to go up. So these are our buyers. And for me, as I'm analyzing this trade, I'm calling this retracement. So the question is, how do you differentiate between a retracement and a reversal? And I have told you, to differentiate, you use BW strategy and BW strategy, I'll teach it in the masterclass program on May 10th, on May 10th, 2024. So it's just 10 days remaining for that masterclass. You can register at $100. Now let's continue. So how do we trade then this uh, market? So I went on four hour and you can see on four hour, the market has been ranging. Can you see? 
on four hour, the market has been ranging. So the market is ranging on four hour. We don't know exactly what it wants. But when I went on two hours, I was able to, to note down um, a very important pattern. We have a head and shoulder. Majority, I don't even I don't even train this head and shoulder in my mentorship course because I still I'm still testing out on entry levels, but the pattern that we have on GBPUSD is head and shoulder. So the question is, how do we get to enter this head and shoulder? Because the head is what is bringing problems. You can see the first time the head was trying to come and complete, it failed to complete, went back. Again, it's really struggling. So the question is, how do we get on this trade or how do we get on this trade guys? So if I look on my left on this head and shoulder, I cannot see anything. Can you see on my left, there's nothing that has been activated guys. But when I went on one hour, can you see I'm on one hour. What do I find? I find a gravestone. Can you see this gravestone? This gravestone, has activated a double top. That's why I'm telling you that if you know this, uh, if you know how to identify this pattern, life becomes simpler, trading becomes simpler. So if I go on higher time frame, like two hours, I won't see anything. There's no gravestone. There's no resistance in that area. If I go on three hours, there's nothing. So you can notice on Weekly time frame, I have been given a what? I have been given um a, a ranging break on weekly time frame. On four hour, the market is ranging, but I don't know why it is ranging. So, but on one hour time frame, we have an activated double top on one hour. So it's you to wait for the market to break this double top so that you can get your entry. So once we come to one hour, and I want you to pay attention, this is GBPUSD. So this is what I want you guys to note. I want you to, to wait for the market to break that area. So we are breaking 25.05. If the market breaks 25.05, note you have a sell order. If it doesn't break, we are not entering, guys. So I want us to mark our half of this um, double top. So let us mark our half of this double top. If we mark our half of this double top, our half is exactly as the head and shoulder that I showed you. Guys, you remember the head and shoulder? So the half is coming to, uh, to the neckline of the head and shoulder. That's what I'm saying. There are those who will use head and shoulder. There's me who will use pattern like double top on one hour, but all of us will get the same thing. Now, the question is, how do we get a perfect entry? We want the support to break, either uh, the support on one hour to break, uh, and it is at 25.05, and also I have a current support here on 25.25. So those are most notorious supports. Uh, in that area, 25.25, 1.2525, that is an area I would want the market to break. So I will update you once the market breaks on one hour. It's like 14 pips away. So we are waiting for that market to break on, um, on, that, on that area, this zone. We are waiting for this market to break on this zone. If it does not break, we don't have a sale. So it's either it breaks uh, 25, 1.25, Two five. So I'm hoping the market will break those two areas. So these are areas to observe. So if you're trying to trade GBPUSD, kindly, if you want to sell, wait for the market to break. You can imagine if the market breaks those two areas, we are holding this trade up to the half and, and up to the half is 100 pips. So it is worth to wait, guys. So let us wait for this market to break. There's nothing more I can do. I'll come back to update. So on this episode, I want to show you growing a small account, it doesn't, it does not fall from, from heaven. You don't, you don't just wake up one day and you decide, I will grow a small account. You have to plan your trades. 
So the first day of doing these videos of trying to get opportunities here and there, we will see uh, in, in this week how many trades we have gotten in and how many uh, pips will have got will have gained so i want you to comment down below i want you to comment down below and tell me what you think what do you think guys what do you think on gbpusd are you thinking the market will buy do you think the market will sell and then you can comment your views on this trade and if you have any other pair that you think it has a opportunity you can still text it to me so in the first episode one, we didn't have an, an entry because Euro USD uh, didn't have, it has not broken half. Episode two, GBP USD, it has not broken those support. So until they break, that's when I can come to update you guys on what to do. All the best, guys. See you in the next one. Love you. Bye bye.